Alicia with Twisted Tarot and I'm back for another reading. So this is going to be a pick a deck reading on how they think you feel about the connection. So we have three different piles here. Pile one is the Broke B Tarot. Pile two is the Doodle Tarot. And pile three is the Neon Tarot. So if you need to, you can pause the video to make your selection. And I'll see you over at your pile. So if you chose pile number one with the lovely Broke B Tarot, let's find out how they think you feel. So welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader. The messages are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so we're going to do a quick check-in on how you are actually feeling, and then we'll get into how they think you feel. There we go. That's a better shuffle. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have some Oracle cards for how they think you feel. We'll get into those, but we're going to check in and see how you're actually feeling. This will kind of give you an idea if this is your pile. So. We have the High Priest. We have the Empress. We have the Five of Coins. We have the Fool Reversed. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the World. Okay, so perhaps there is some distance here, or this was like an online connection. How you actually feel is that possibly you're taking a new journey. You're going to complete something, that this is the end of a cycle, okay? And that there will no, not be a new beginning with this person. That you have seen them for the fool that they are, that they are reckless, they're naive, they procrastinate, they're irresponsible, could be very immature here, could have Aries in their chart, or Taurus with the Empress. Okay, so this is one storyline that I'm getting, and I'm just going to go into it real quick here because this isn't going to resonate with everybody, but it is coming up very strongly. So how you feel is you know your worth, okay? So you're the empress here. So male or female, doesn't matter. You also could be the high priest. Uh, you know this person is probably spying on you, getting tarot readings if they're into that, or they have some type of intuitive knowledge, or you do, and you um, embrace both the high priest and the empress here. Okay, but what's weird about this is I keep seeing that somebody needs to like uh, cut out like a mother figure or someone that is possibly interfering in your connection or this could be someone that you used to be married to or this was like in a committed relationship. This is with the five of coins. I feel like you feel like you're left out in the cold. You could cur currently be struggling financially here or this person is number five is indicated here with the five of coins, so five, 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 or 55 is significant. Fives are about changes, okay? You want something to change here. You want them to see your worth or your value for some of you, um, but you know it. And so you're taking what you have with this knowledge and sharing of beliefs in this fellowship. You're nurturing yourself. You're being very fair and you're growing in your, uh, in your boss energy and you're moving forward with the world here. Okay. And this is going to make you very happy. Okay. So how you feel is you've been good to this person. You showed them love, compassion, empathy, and intuition is indicated with this queen of cups. So you could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have air here with the page of swords reversed. Somebody could be watching you and a partner move on. And that is someone that you're asking about. You could be asking about how your mother feels. Your mother could be struggling right now. They could be unwell or not able to travel to you or see you. That is uh, coming through very strongly. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, although I think it resonates on each side here, and this, this could be 
um, whether this is actually what you're doing and this is also also what this person thinks but we have rest at the bottom of the deck here so for some of you kind of taking it easy uh, you could be distancing yourself from this person with the world you still keep an eye on them intuitively or they keep an eye on you intuitively with the high priest here mm -hmm. and this is about ending cycles with this person definitely okay I want to see right now how they think you feel okay so let's see I think you guys are very divinely connected soul connected so you have you may be telepathically communicating or you have some type of soul knowledge here about this person you could be consulting your own uh, and your reader if you are a reader then that's something too so you could be getting guidance here someone who is a, from someone who's a mother they're very talented Okay, so let's see how they think you feel about them. I think you feel like this is has come to an end. It's time to rest and that you need a break from this connection or you need to go in a new direction and you're looking at ways to expand. They see you expanding. You may be doing um, what you love, especially if you're a reader. You could be very uh, popular. Your popularity is starting to increase, so that's beautiful here, so good for y'all. Justice reversed. So Libra energy, five of swords, another five here. Mm -hmm. The moon reversed. Mm, okay. The knight of swords. And we'll get one more. Nine of coins reversed. And the six of wands. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I think they feel like with this justice card reverse that there's been some type of unfairness in the connection and injustice was possibly, um, uh, and this is just from how they think you feel. They think that uh, you feel like this person is deceptive um, that they're hiding things from you and they need to tell you about what's going on. Uh, that there's been some type of corruption or lack of accountability. Somebody hasn't taken accountability for their behavior or their actions or their harsh words. With the five of swords, yeah. Somebody could be... Uh, they, don't, they may not be a citizen okay, of whatever country they live in. And this could be something about that. Notice that an eviction. So perhaps this person needs to move and uh, they think that you feel that uh, you're done with this, with the surrender, defeat, and the cost of battle, that the cost of battle has disrupted your peace or disrupted your stability here with the nine of coins reversed. They feel like you're superficial Financial, uh, some financially dependent and deceitful. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. uh-huh, uh-huh. And this has come out with the Five of Swords paired with the Moon Reverse, which is some type of confusion. They don't quite know how you feel about them. They have some type of fears going on and some self-deception that's really taking place or they think that like you're just lying to yourself. Um, I'm sorry, that's just what's coming out. You know, this may not be it, but you feel like this person is deceitful, deceptive, and they're hiding things from you, and you're going to find it out one way or the other, okay, with this Knight of Swords, and you're going to take action. You took swift action. Perhaps they feel there's someone else in the mix here with this Knight of Swords. That is more air, like I was getting with the Page of Swords, so there could be two different, um, you could be dealing with two different people here. And they think that, they think that you're taking action, you're being assertive, you're opinionated, opinion, opinionated, excuse me, but also this could be very impulsive. You could be a very impulsive person and some type of action in the material world um, has kind of brought you down in some way. They feel like you're up in your head with the moon reversed, more uh, water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in the way that I've been intuitively told to read, so interesting here so this is um secrets being revealed okay something coming to light here with the six of wands i think they feel like you are just focused on yourself okay you could be graduating here there's something to do with a graduation 
achievement recognition and being in the spotlight. You feel like you're in the spotlight and it's all eyes are on you is what I'm hearing. Is that Tupac, all eyes on me? Mm -hmm. All eyes on me. All right, so let's get some Oracle cards and see how they think you feel about them. They're trying to figure out how you feel about them. That you're just trying to go with the flow, with the flow card here. You're just resting. You could want more. With the hunger card here. Forgiveness, that you're working through maybe forgiving them. Maybe there are some secrets that came out. They could have been hiding a relationship that's not for everybody, but that is something that is showing here, something that they impulsively got into, you found out, and you were like, oh, okay. And you saw that this person may be trying to depend on you financially, or they're superficial, or there's some reason that they're coming towards you that they want to take from you with this nine of coins. And this is like forcefully. Says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. There's flow again and flow here. Okay. So they feel like they need your forgiveness. And how they think you feel is that you're working through some obstacles here, especially if a relationship has ended for you or you're in a long term commitment, that that's like the end of the deceit and things like that. Now you can move forward as somebody still has assets to kind of discuss or there's something to do with that here. I'm also getting there could be legal issues involved. We have check my phone. They feel like you want to see what they've been up to. You want them to show you, show them, show you um, their phone. Mm -hmm. Yep, because you know that they're hiding something. And this person may be like, check my phone. Like, I didn't do anything wrong. Just check my phone. Yeah, okay. If you're checking someone's phone, it's over. It's literally over. If I want those things from a person, then I know I'm done. I know we're done. If I don't trust you, this isn't even something that we would even get far enough into. Okay? So, and pile number one, I know y'all y'all have some self-respect here. You're the empress, okay? You think they're a knight of swords. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're full of ego with the six of wands into you. Okay, so they think that um, you're into them. Good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. Okay, so they think that you feel that they're, you know, that there's a lot of chemistry here. You guys get along well, and that there are some positive things about the situation. I don't see in very much, but that's again, they don't know. With the foggy, they have no clue. That's good. You're probably blocking it out. You're like, I don't want you to know what's going on with me. You think you're going to spy on me with tarot? Good luck. Spirit of elixirs. Intoxication, uninhibited, and shameless. Okay, so they feel like maybe you have been indulging. That's the moon energy here. There could be some addictions here with the five of swords and the moon card reverse and the justice reverse. Yeah, and that it's almost like if you don't see it, this person does. You make them feel this way too. That's what I'm getting. Or they think they like can get you drunk and like be like, I'm so into you. And you're like, okay. <laughs> oh, why are you here? Number 42, ghosts of the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of you could be mediums. I was just watching this movie and I love horror movies and I love ghosts. And so like when you combine them, I'm like, hell yes, like 13 ghosts. Oh my gosh, killer movie, killer movie. Was it like the house on Haunted Hill? Super good. Scream, super good. So you guys could really be into or this person or, or you could really be into like horror, uh, cult classics and things like that. We have the past returns for a time, okay? So perhaps they think that the past has come back and now you are kind of still dealing with the ghosts of their past, okay? And someone's past is catching up with them and they know it. Ooh, balance. Mm -hmm. They think that you wish that there was more balance in this connection or you're working on balancing things out for yourself. I love this. It's like the highlight card. Libra is all about balance. Okay. They want to come to some type of balance with you. That's what the secret is. 
they know that they have done you wrong. Okay, with the Five of Swords, if you think this person doesn't know because they're acting stoic and cold and very uh, matter of fact, with the Knight of Swords, nope. With the Moon Reverse, there's, there's huge emotions going on in this person. They're wanting to know what's going on with you. We have ignoring the pain. Okay, so they think you're ignoring the pain of being either separated from them or something not working out or you're ignoring physical pain here and you need to get more rest. That's also what I'm picking up on here. K, E could be in someone's name and Ra is here. So Ki and Ra, Sun God. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be in their chart as well. So interesting energy. It's good because I think you're trying to confuse this person on, on purpose. Okay. You're like, mm -mm, you're not going to be trying to get into my business some other way. Like things are going to be foggy for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Pile number one. I hope this resonated. If it did, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you are so called to. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And as always, I'll see you for the next one. Take care. So for those of you that chose pile number two, let's find out how they think you feel. So welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader. The messages are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if this is your pile. This is just going to cover how you actually feel about the situation, and then we'll get into how they think you feel. So, spirit guides, ancestors, angels, give me the truthful message about how how number two is feeling about their person or about this connection. We have the star reversed. We have the ace of wands. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the High Priestess reversed. We have the Three of Swords. The bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. Okay. So how do you think you feel about them? Um, I think that there's some hope that's been lost in the connection. Uh, there's some type of healing that needs to take place. Perhaps this is like <laughs> um, physical healing, if you know what I'm saying. Intimacy, this person does think about that a lot. Uh, they could be frustrated in that area. Um, or you, sorry, you guys could be frustrated in that area. Or you're frustrated with this person, okay? You could have a lot of responsibilities with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Wands because this is a burden here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So some they how you're feeling overwhelmed, overworked, burdened. You're wanting to kind of get out and go on adventures. You're a very creative person. This is a new beginning here. So they think that maybe after some heartbreak and this connection with the three of swords, um, here that there's some type of healing that needs to be done. I am feeling that um, I'm speaking with both. So this is a very um, mirrored energy here. So I am picking that up. So there's some type of discouragement, insecurity, and despair that has taken place. I can't really show this card because it's in, got a little naughtiness on there. So we'll cover that up with some Marilyn. Huh? <laughs> yes, we will. Okay, so Aquarius. So they could have Aquarius in their chart. We also have the High Priestess. Okay. So uh, I feel like there's something about you, you're feeling like maybe your intuition is blocked or that there is like feelings that are being repressed or secrets that need to come out here, which is what this card talks about here at the bottom. There's some type of, um, it could be due to heartbreak. You could be feeling like a deep soul connection to this person with the High Priestess Reverse and the Three of Swords. 
Ace of Cups, okay, so maybe you're looking at um, healing your heart in order to become open to new love. With this Ace of Cups, it talks about a brand new um, love offer, okay, so perhaps there's a lot of uh, love offers around you at the moment, or you have a lot of love, you've experienced something very devastating here. You could have a heart condition with the Three of Swords, and heartbreak is real, y'all. Heartbreak is real, y'all, so, mm, oh my goodness. Some type of trauma or grief or depression you could be going through that right now this could be very very much affecting you or this this is how you're feeling um this talks about an emotional awakening and fulfillment okay so there are still feelings there uh, for the situation but they come with pain they come with trauma they come with heartbreak perhaps you think this person only wants you for one thing okay or there's a lot of um, creativity that's just trying to get through okay the divine is trying to communicate with you that you're overwhelmed and perhaps you need to take some rest um, go with the flow a little bit more uh, put learn to say no put some tasks down you know uh, focus on healing your heart here your heart chakra could be blocked the star I'm also getting crown chakra as well so let's see how they think you feel we have taken a time out and chill, okay? So perhaps <laughs> this is exactly it, okay? And this is probably what they would tell you. Like, they're hoping that you're kind of chilling, relaxing, taking care of yourself. Looks like you're overworked, overburdened here. We have scarcity tactics, okay? So perhaps they uh, feel like there's not enough in this connection like there, there may be one thing that's good if you know what I'm saying and the rest is just a burden it's, it's a burden um, how much you care about this person the fact that they've broken your heart um, or you've experienced some type type of heartbreak or trauma or grief in the past is like really starting to wear on you it could be uh, again that you're you're walking with others that are going through this as well and you're showing love to everybody. It's almost like Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, like you're up for new adventures. You want some excitement in your life. Um, and you are looking at things that emotionally fulfill you. And a lot of those things, you know, they do break our heart. You know, some, some things that we have to do break our heart. You could be experiencing um, like a financial burden here with the scarcity tactics or something like that. Or there's something about this that's like, clinging to the situation perhaps you think this person um how they think you feel is you think that this person is always in a scarcity mindset like they're always wanting more they're always needing more there's um a very overwhelming feeling here we have i am their light okay all right so how they think you're feeling is that you are the light in their darkness that uh, you show them the way. There's fireflies here, so you could live where fireflies are. For the first time ever when I moved to Texas, that's when I first saw my first firefly. It was beautiful, it was wonderful. It made me so happy. So you kind of glow, okay? I'm hearing you may like glow in the dark. You may like to wear glow in the dark. Who doesn't? Glow in the dark's awesome, okay? 80s and 90s baby right here. So, um, I'm a 90s baby in my 80s Mercedes. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Um, that's beautiful. That's a song. I can't remember. It's not coming to me fully. So uh, you guys might want to look up that lyric because that came through. Some of you that your photographers here and you're out taking pictures or on vacation. This person thinks that you're getting evidence against them and that you have uh, proof of something. So you're kind of looking them up, possibly getting an idea of, you know, what their motives are. We have money issues. Yeah, mm -hmm. the scarcity tactics. Okay, perhaps they feel like you're having some money issues and this is causing uh, problems in the connection. Who? I mean, yeah, I mean, definitely. Who's not having money issues? We're in 2024. <laughs> We have patience, okay? They feel like you're having some type of patience here. I think your patience is actually running low, though. So I'm not actually feeling like this is an accurate 
uh, you know, this is just their thoughts and feelings. Like this doesn't mean that it's accurate. So it says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah, and perhaps you're losing your patience with this person. Like you may still love them. You may care about them. And um, there's definitely some uh, things that are going on here with that three of swords, you know, and that star reverse that need to be healed. Perhaps they think that um, you're focusing on healing. You're focusing on your health. You're focusing on the things that make you happy with the ace of cups. I'm hearing like friends and family and things like that. We have Lantern Fairy number 24, a clear solution. Okay, so this is very mirrored with pile one. So there may be messages there. And I kept, when I was getting your pile, it kept saying pile one. And I kept saying, no, we're in pile two. And I'd have to read correct spirit. So maybe that's another indicator that there's some signs or symbols or messages for you in that pile. So how they think you feel is that you're trying to come up with solutions or you have a clear solution. And there's a lantern here. Okay, so something to do with lanterns or lights. Uh, you could have a very beautiful home. There's something to do with the lighting in your home as well. You light up other people's lives. You're highly intuitive. Okay, we have ghost. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so this person feels like you've just gone ghost. You haven't been communicating with them as much or there hasn't been as much. This could be like a no contact type of situation. And that you're like a ghost in the night. Mm -hmm. We have love. Yeah, there's love here. They think you love them. Okay. And if this person ghosted you, it's because of how much they love you. Okay, so just know that. Okay, and that doesn't always make sense to people, but I am getting that here. Perhaps you're like, I can love you from afar. I'll love you from afar if I have to. Spirit of the lion. Oh, yes. So you could be a Leo here. We have leader, recognition, and respect. Mm-hmm. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you're standing in your, um, like you have pride, okay? And maybe a little bit, a little bit more, you know, Leo's like to be the rulers of the kingdom here. And they're a leader. So they see you, they think that you feel that, um, they're either a good leader, you can you have some type of respect for this person in some way, but I think this is also your energy saying like, you will respect me. I am a leader, I am recognized, and I am a very good at what I do, okay? So this is not someone you're going to play with, okay? So, and I think you, pile, pile two, I keep trying to call you pile one. Mm-hmm, yeah, okay. So you know your worth, all right? I think this person has a lot of growing up to do. I'm just hearing that in, in my mind. Like you feel like you just want to tell this person like grow up. We have joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how they feel, you feel like you're just embracing what makes you happy and that you're a joyful person. You may be dealing with a lot. Um, yellow is a significant color here. So you could look good in the color yellow or like sunflowers of some sort or yellow flowers are significant. Something about that um, could be a sign or a synchronicity about this person, kind of your sign and symbol for them, especially with this fireflies, dragonflies. I'm also getting the stars, the night sky, something about that. You may think about this person when you look at the night sky. There's a lot of sadness. This person has caused you a lot of pain and you have cried over them um, when it comes to uh, the situation and you're just working on your joy and healing yourself. So taking a little time out, possibly if you haven't, um, that is kind of indicated here from spirit. They're saying like, okay, it's time to take a time out, time to address some issues, some scarcity tactics, some money issues and things like that. Right now you're just kind of ghosting love. Love is not, I don't think it's on your plate. I think you're too sad about something or trying to heal something from the past as well. Something that really hurt you. People could have told you that like you weren't good enough or maybe this is like self-talk here within yourself with the high priestess reversed. Um, this person also thinks that maybe you're blocking them out. So, you know, this is someone who is like, you know, I don't want to connect with you. I'm just trying to heal myself. I'm working at um, 
putting down these burdens, okay? I'm feeling overworked. Um, do I still love you and do I still care? Absolutely, that is here, okay? You could be focusing away from this person and focusing on a new love. That's not for everybody. The majority here is just kind of closed off and working on um, stability here, possibly, because that's what I'm not getting any pentacles. So that's something with that scarcity tactics. Perhaps someone even plays chess or enjoys like, you know, tact like tactical games and things like that. Oh goodness. Interesting. Interesting energy. Okay, so pile two, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope that it resonated. If it did, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're so called to. If you like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. And as always, I'll see you for the next one. Take care. So if you chose pile number three, the neon tarot. Let's find out how they think you feel about them and this connection. So welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader. The messages are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so we're going to tap into how you really feel about this person first and see if this is your pile. So for pile number three out how you're feeling about this person. We have the two of pentacles. We have the five of pentacles. Oh, you're deciding whether to stick around for this or not, or whether you should leave altogether if you are stay go stay go this could be an on and off connection the ace of wands there's the knight of swords we have the queen of cups and we have the strength card. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Interesting, okay. All right. Oh, I think you've lost feelings for this person. I think that there is still possibly like room for, you know, like a situation trip or something that's more, you know, physical intimacy is indicated here. You're still physically attracted to this person, okay? So, that is indicated by that card <laughs> um, with the Knight of Swords. You could want to take some type of action towards them or you want this person to take action towards you in order to make this happen, to make up their mind with the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. You're deciding what to do, what action to take. It's almost like you've given them either an ultimatum. And this is interesting because I was watching somebody on TikTok. I can't remember who it was. But if you follow me there, I think I've reposted it. And one of the things that um, the guy was giving advice on or the woman was like make a uh, or make a date where it's like this energy is no longer you're making that decision. You're no longer giving to this person with the Knight of Cups. You're no longer showing them love, although you are a loving person with the Queen of Cups. You've showed them love in the past. You've been compassionate, kind, generous, giving. And uh, currently you're just trying to have the strength to move through this or to figure this out, okay? Taming the beast, the lion is indicated here. So somebody could have Leo in their chart. We also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. So how you're feeling about them, perhaps you're wanting to take action, but you're not sure how, okay? And there's something about that. I am going to get the, I am picking this up for someone. Okay. How you actually feel about this person is like, like, okay, like that's, that's it. You know, like, um, this, this isn't going to work. Right. So, you know, that is for someone and you're just, that, that isn't for everybody. Okay. But I am picking that up here, like very strongly with this Knight of Swords and Ace of Wands. It's like, you'd want to go towards this person, 
but there's something about the feelings have like I'm getting that you've lost feelings for them or you just don't care there's an apathetic vibe here like you know and you may be holding back your feelings when it comes to this person you may want to express something or want them to express something to you yeah, but you're going back and forth, okay, with this person. So perhaps this has been a situation where you've been deciding whether you're going to keep this person around in your life. This could be someone who showed you that they were not faithful, they were not loyal, they were a cheater, their apologies mean nothing. They come to you with this ace of wands and then they're gone again. And you're just like, okay, you know, like, well, that's, you know, that's what's happening. It could be that you are in a non-committal energy as well, so take it how it resonates, <laughs> okay? All right. Some type of hasty action was done um, here. Oh, okay. So let's see. Um, how they think you feel. So let's get into that. We got some oracle cards here. We have Fairy of the Divine Hand. Intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. Number two could be significant. So 22, we have the two of pentacles here. We have the five. So 55, 222, you could look those up. Ace of Wands. 11, 11, 1, 11. So how this person, it's, they think that you don't see things clearly. Now, again, that's just from their perspective. So don't take that on if that's not the case. All right. Uh, they also could see that you possibly overindulge with this Knight of Cups. Maybe you drink too much, uh, make hasty decisions uh, about like, you know, relations if you know what I'm saying or that that's something that they have um, wanted to see maybe to get you intoxicated uh, in order to have you open up emotionally to them because they are holding it back with the knight of swords it's like holding this queen of cups back with this knight of cups reversed okay so there's something about uh, you that is not being you're not being forthright about your emotions or what you're feeling uh, you could be suppressing those and how you actually feel about the situation, but it's not good. You don't have a high opinion of this person. You possibly think that they overindulge here and that distorts their view, okay? And then they're intoxicated. They also feel like your energy is so good because you are the fairy of the divine hand. Some, some of you are seers here, or this person is. We have too many responsibilities, okay? Mm-hmm. So how they feel that this that this connection it could be too much, okay? That it's too many responsibilities in order to make some type of moves here. If there was someone else, I'm also getting like this person doesn't love them, okay? And I'm sorry that is coming through here very strongly. So if they chose someone else, they made a hasty decision. Yeah, that didn't work out here. If they juggled you and another person, it was just like you ain't juggling me. I hear that like you're not juggling me. Nice try. We have spirit of air, clarity, awareness, and truth. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You're going to speak your truth. There's something about uh, opening up and giving some type of, uh, having some type of conversation or they want some clarity. They want to know like what's going on with you. Uh, and they think that maybe it's just because you have too many responsibilities, et cetera, et cetera, that you're always on the go with the Knight of Swords. We have growth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how they think you feel, you think that this could grow. You're trying to have strength. Maybe it started out as like a friends with benefits type of deal. And now this person's not sure how they should approach the situation. So uh, how they think you feel is that they also have some growing up to do. Mm -hmm. That there's a lot of things that they need to work through. Especially with this two of pentacles nonsense. Okay, so... Somebody who's indecisive, doesn't know what they want. We have locked off. Yeah, okay. How they feel about you is you have locked your emotions away, your heart away. You're not showing them the same type of love as you were. Maybe you're still open to a physical connection, but the rest is not up for debate is what I'm hearing for, from spirit. Spirit is like, mm-mm. And we're not telling this person a damn thing. So if they've been, um, we do have this here and it's um, going to go into that right away because that's what's coming up next, the divination abuser. So this person could be trying to get information about you and it's for the wrong reasons, okay? Possibly to use against you. They want to know like what's going on with you. Um, are you seeing other people? Da, 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 da. And like, no, you're just locked off and spirit is locking them off because they're like, listen, you're, you're not doing, you're not using tarot the way it's meant to be. 
Tarot is to help you grow. It's to call you on your ish and to get you to do better. Okay. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're, you are locked off to this person and you're like, mm -mm, you ain't going to see what's going on here. And this person badly wants to know what's going on with you. They want to know the truth of the situation. Uh, I feel like for the truth, there is another truth here that you may have gone towards someone else and it didn't work out. Okay, that is coming up very strongly here with the Knight of Cups. And if the, it's this person that it's not working out with, you come to some type of light bulb. There's some type of moment where it's like an aha moment. Maybe you got a download and you were like, oh crap, okay? Like, this is not it. I don't want this anymore. This is not love, okay? This is, this is manipulation with the Knight of Cups reversed, okay? Someone who likes to cause tower moments in your life. They could be gossipy, um... They want to know your business so that they can gossip about it, okay? And most of all, they just want you to be lonely and not be, you know, loved, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm, okay, whatever. That's awful, okay? So this is what they're trying to figure out about you. They really are nosy. This person's nosy. How they think you feel, okay? So here's some creativity. That's what I was saying with that Ace of Wands. Perhaps you're taking on new creative endeavors and you're highly creative, Purple is indicated here, so very divine uh, royal energy. And there's some type of clarity. There's a light bulb on here. Okay, perhaps someone needs to change their light bulbs. That's weird, but okay. All right. Where they talk about that. We have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Oh, yes, honeys. You guys are master manifestors and they know it. They know this connection could be abundant. If they just stop with this like back and forth nonsense, okay? And no wonder you're locked off to them. They want to know if you're what your physical uh, status is like too. So they want to know what kind of car you drive, what house you live in, like where you live, how much money you make. Like this is insane. This person just wants to know a lot. And what spirit is telling them and they may be getting readings on you is that you're abundant. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pile three. Lies and partial truths. Okay, so I feel like this is projection. This person feels like you may be telling them lies or there's partial truths here when it comes to this connection or you keeping them purposely confused. Uh, someone could have a cat, a black cat here is indicated. It's kind of a darker color here. I'm picking up on a black cat. You may be telling, um, you may be uh, wondering if this person is telling you the truth, right? And this is what they're getting. Like when they're, di when they're, abusing divination they're now getting lies and partial truths it's because spirit is saying oh no this person has a divine hand um and they're divinely protected and we're not giving you a damn thing you want to know what's going on with pile number three mm, yeah you better ask better get off your little high horse over here with this knight of cups and this bs and this immature behavior uh the shallow i'm getting someone who's very shallow okay we have space yeah they think you want space from them. Oh, yes. Who wouldn't want their space from this? It's almost like this Knight of Swords is like, I'll take as much space as I need to. Uh, I may feel this way for you, but I am not moving off my throne. The Queen of Cups is not moving off her throne for anyone. So how they see you is absolutely interesting here because it is a distorted view. It's their own truth that they're projecting onto you and they're probably saying oh you have too many responsibilities or I think this is what's going on and literally you're like no I'm locked off to this BS because I'm here growing and you're over here playing around you're over here like you know giving it to whoever you want to give it to so and I think this person created some third parties in some way it doesn't have to be romantic but it could be and you were just like mm -mm, er, 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 yeah mm -mm. Yeah, back it up. Yeah, I'm getting very much this person knows that you want your space. And I feel like you absolutely do. This person could have taken space from you because they're lying to you. And they're telling you partial truths. So remember, every acknowledgement, uh, when a narcissist speaks or someone who is lying or being deceptive, they tell on themselves. Just watch, listen, and you'll see. You'll know. You're absolutely in tune here with this Queen of Cups. All water signs are. They've been born into the intuitive waters, okay? <laughs> like, it's almost like we birth you as psychics. Welcome to the world. 
All right, so <laughs> pile number three. I'm just sorry, I'm trying to find the humor in this because you know this obviously looks like a little bit of a, you know, like a hot mess and you're basically standing over here in your power and your pride, your ego in a healthy way. And you're saying like, I'm not, I'm not moving off this throne unless you have more to offer me. If you're just coming with bullshit and you're gonna come and go and you're gonna offer this like exciting new beginning and not follow through and not be, you know, obsessed with me or in love with me like what are we doing okay what are we doing this also could have been a friend who was also very jealous of you they became it's almost like they fell in love with you and you're like er, no mm -mm, nope not about it okay so queen of cups is focused on making things happen in the, mat in the material world and uh having the strength to do so and standing in your own power so good for you pile number three i'm very proud of you the divine wants to say that you are doing a magical job of, you know, not bending to the will of others. You're not chasing out like this Ace of Wands. You know, you're basically are working at uh, maybe your finances, your abundance. You're very, very, very capable of manifesting whatever you want into this world. So all you got to do is think it. They're even saying your thoughts here, Knight of Swords. All you got to do is think it. And you may be telepathically telling this person, yeah, no, you're not going to come at me with this because you have a lot of growing to do. You need to either give me the truth or there's not much I can, there's not much I can do for you here. You know, this is not the place for you. So there was this great uh, video I posted on my Facebook and it was basically to leave spiritual girls alone or women or men. It doesn't matter, you know, your gender, but it was literally like a warning and it is a warning from spirit. If you keep messing around, you keep trying to find out information about this person, if you're here and you're trying to spy and it's not for business, spirit will keep showing you lies and partial truths. They will keep you locked off from this person. If your behavior has been this um, this immaturity, this shallowness, this non-committal, this whatever, this is why spirit is locking you off from this person. It's because you need to stop it, okay? So I'm just... I'm just saying, not for you, but I mean like the person that um, you came to this reading about, okay? So since that's the advice that I'm picking up from spirit. It's like spirit is going to keep blocking them off from this BS, bringing it into your life, okay? They are causing you to, uh, they're causing like a burden is what I'm getting here with this too many responsibilities, okay? And it's like, listen, this is too much, okay? So I'm going to do this. You do what you need to do. And, you know, uh, say la vie, right? Say la vie. All right, pile number three. This was crazy. Definitely some interesting information came through. So um, this is how your person thinks you feel about them. I think it is somewhat accurate to how you're feeling. Um, it may not be exact, of course. So, but uh, let me know in the comments down below because I'm very, very interested. All right, y'all, if you would like to like, share, comment, and subscribe, that would be lovely. Or if you would like a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. And as always, I'll see you for the next one. Take care.